Hey, what's up everyone? Dave here and I'm super excited to show you Mental Canvas. Let me go ahead and play this video real quick here. You can see that this is a crazy awesome program that allows you to draw in 2D but get this 3D look, okay? So I'm gonna leave a link below to this exact video file. I did not make this. This is an example of, um, you know, kind of what can be done in Mental Canvas. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you guys kind of a starting point of how to even think about doing this. And, um, and then also I'm gonna kind of um, show you additional resources where you can learn how to do this. It's actually pretty simple, believe it or not, and really powerful. I feel like it's great for um, storyboard artists, uh, concept artists, just kind of communicating idea, not working in 3D, kind of getting back to that 2D aspect, but really kind of working quickly. So what is this all about? How are they doing this? Well, it's an app for the iPad. Okay, let me just kind of uh, minimize this. So here it is, um, the iPad, and it's called Mental Canvas. And when you go to it, um, you can click here, and then you um, basically in the upper right-hand corner right here, and I could create a new scene. I could go to tutorials. I'll talk about some of that stuff in a second. But if I wanted to just go to new scene, I'm just going to click on scenes, and this comes up. So if I have save scenes or... Uh, something along those lines, it will let me choose that here. But I feel like I'm just going to hit um, done, and then that's going to give me a clean scene. Okay, you'll notice that in this section here, I feel like I've got canvases and I've got my layers. Up here, I've got my brushes, my erasers, and this is kind of creating a new layer. I'll get into that. And then here is the paint mode and camera mode, and then here's our bookmarks down here. So let me just kind of get started. Um, if I click on these dots, okay, it'll kind of hide those uh, areas there. I'm just gonna kind of leave it open. If you're used to Photoshop, that should be kind of familiar, this idea of layers. Um, up at the top here, I've got my brushes. If I click on my brushes, I can choose different types of brushes. Maybe I'll keep it on the pencil. Here I could change my brush size. Give, gives me a nice preview right there. And here's my eraser, my fill bucket, and then also my colors here. I'll just go to black, okay? Now, how are we uh, doing this? I'm just gonna kind of create a simple basketball scene, um, but obviously you could create whatever you want. So I'm gonna go like this. I'm just gonna simply click on this, and you can see that I'm just literally drawing, okay? I'm literally drawing um, a basketball hoop, and maybe I'll go like this. I'm gonna say I want the red uh, just kind of there we go. Now, I want there to be kind of a three-dimensional hoop um, on this. And by the way, if I click on the, um, if I go up here, if I go to the camera, I'm going to get out of draw mode. And when I'm in the camera mode, now I can just click and rotate around. Okay. So we can see that kind of three-dimensionally, we can kind of look at this drawing. If you kind of visualize that kind of on a two-dimensional piece of paper. Um, and if I go back to my draw mode, um, it'll always kind of face me towards my piece of paper. Okay, and that'll make more sense in a second. But up here, um, I'm gonna make different things. So the one I'm probably gonna use the most is this hinge canvas right here, the second one. Um, and by the way, this dot here, that you're not gonna have that on yours. That's just so you can kind of see what I'm clicking on. But I'm gonna click on that hinge canvas and now it gives me this kind of preview window over here that I can kind of rotate any angle that I want. Um, and then here in the center is where I can create my hinge. So I'm gonna click one blue dot and the other blue dot and I'm gonna make it like this in line with the kind of the bottom of this board. And then I'm gonna click and I'm gonna drag this circle down. And you can see now when that comes totally like that, I can kind of get a sense of over here if it's working right, right? And maybe I want to keep going. Okay, yeah, that, that, that seems pretty um, flat. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. Yeah, that looks right. I can see in kind of in my bird's eye view over here. That looks good. I'm going to go ahead and click accept the checkbox in the upper right-hand corner. And now I'm on Canvas 2, okay? 
Now Canvas 2 is already established. We just established where that's located. So now what I can do is I can simply um, draw my lines. So if I go back here, I'm gonna switch to black and I could draw the court. I could kind of zoom out. Okay, and I'm gonna kind of draw the free throw line here. And the three point, of course. There we go. Now, what's cool, and, and maybe also kind of, um, this is the halfway, there we go, the half court. Now, if I go to my camera again, now if I rotate this, I can really start to see that I have a, a three-dimensional scene started, okay? Really cool. Um, and by the way, don't worry about like, hey, is this perfectly 90 degrees? I feel like mental canvas isn't uh, meant to necessarily be perfect. Um, I feel like it's more to communicate an idea quickly, okay? So I feel like that's kind of our goal. Um, but let's take a look at some things here. So let's say if I wanted to create the basket. You can see I don't have the basket on the on the on the um, basket or on the backboard yet. So I want that basket to be parallel to the floor. Okay? So I can look at the floor and if I hit the paintbrush, it's going to be um, it's going to take me and view me directly towards the floor. And now if I click on this first icon right here, that first plus it's going to create a new canvas. And once again, on the bird's eye view, I can see that that is directly parallel to the floor. But what I can do is if I click in the big area out here, and if I drag up and down, I can create the height of it. So I can go up or down, and I'm just going to kind of get that right where the basket would be. And I can kind of zoom in here. And I can see, uh, let's see. So it looks like that's still a little high. Maybe move that down just a little bit. And once again, it might not be perfect and, and, and that's okay. I could have also created a hinge constraint on this. Um, but I'm just kind of showing you a, a few different ways to do this. There we go. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. So I'll click accept. And now when I draw on here, I'm gonna simply switch to red. And now I can kind of draw, well, maybe I want a bigger brush size, there we go. Okay, cool. Now when I click on this, I can start to see, oh, nice, I'm getting kind of that three-dimensionality that I'm looking for. Okay, now let's say I wanna kind of draw a player on here. Well, I can, um, you know, I can kind of figure out where I want him, and I'm going to, I guess he's gonna kind of be parallel. Well, you know what I'll do? I think I'll just do a, a hinge constraint on that. So I'm gonna go to, um, notice I can't click on some things here until I'm back into paint mode. So I need to be in paint mode when I'm kind of ready to do something. And I think I'm gonna go to, um, you'll notice that when I click on these, if I click on that basketball, if I'm in paint mode, it's gonna take me to that angle. If I'm in the floor, it's gonna take me to that angle. If it takes me to the rim, it's gonna take me to that angle. Um, so I'm going to think about where do I want my player? I'm going to have them on the floor and I'm going to click on the hinge constraint again. And now I'm going to place this. I'm going to say he's going to kind of be at the three point line over here. And I'm going to just kind of drag that circle. And I'm going to kind of go until that makes sense. So he's going to be standing on it. Once again, my bird's eye view here. Um, yeah, that looks about right is where he'd be standing. Okay, and now I'll click accept. Now I'm able to draw and it kind of no matter how I rotate this, it doesn't really matter because I've got kind of that flat canvas established. So now I'm gonna kind of draw my player. Okay, so now if I go here, Okay, now if I go in this, I can see that, ah, cool, it looks like my player is standing on the court. Okay, and it looks like he's a little tall, so maybe if I come here, I can um, 
erase some of him. So let's see. We'll just kind of look at that. It looks like maybe his legs look like they're going through the floor a little bit. There we go. Ah, uh, yeah. Now we're talking. Go back to my camera. Okay, cool. Feels like he's kind of standing on the court. Now, let's say if I wanted to add some depth to this, what I could do is I'm going to look at from, um, once again, go to my paintbrush. I'm going to go to the basket. And now I want to add a new layer. So I'm just going to click on create new layer here. And um, now I'm going to, once again, push this layer back. Okay, kind of like, uh, let's say that far back, I'm going to click accept. And now I could just simply draw the fans. Okay. Maybe some have some signs. Okay, cool. Now, if I go to my uh, canvas, I can see that how that looks. But you'll notice something that the um, that the basketball hoop is not covering them. Okay, and it's kind of weird to see that. So what I can do is I can go back to my basketball, you know, backboard, and I'll go back to my painting. And now I could simply do this. I could go in here and paint white and now, okay, great. Now when I'm here, you'll notice that it kind of dimmed the background. And so you can see where you're painting white, but I'm not painting a different white. So in other words, it's not going to be gray there normally. It's going to be, um, you're not gonna be able to really tell a difference, but when you paint white, it's just kind of doing that automatically. Um, Whoa, and here's the undo button up here. There we go. Now I'm simply gonna just make a brush size a little bit smaller. There we go. Okay, great. Now if I click back here, now you'll see when I rotate, you can see how that back or that basket is in front of the crowd. Okay, maybe I wanna do that same thing for my um, player. So if I click on my player layer, now I can come in here and I could do this. Once again, go back to paintbrush mode. There we go. And I'll just paint his head white. Basically white is just kind of clear. And I can kind of rotate around to get a better view. There we go. Maybe a bigger brush. Awesome. Yeah, there we go. And now if I look at this, I can see that um, it doesn't look like it's white. It just looks like it's occluding you know, the background there. And the other thing too that's cool is that I've got full functionality of layers. So on this guy here, I can open up my layers and I could create a new layer. And now if I paint, I'm painting a layer on this guy. So I can choose a color and let's say if I, if I give him a jersey, Okay, and um, there we go. And I could I could kind of uh, work the layer system kind of as much as I want. Okay, so let's see, 23, boom. Maybe he's got some stripes. And um, let's click like that. And now I can start to see that, hey, that's cool, I've got some, um, you know, kind of some more detail in there. And I could have as many layers as I wanted to per layer, right? So I feel like um, we could kind of create some real cool depth there. Now, well, it looks like I need a, a net. Um, so for the net, what I might do, I'll go back to this scene and, um, you know, I could, let's see, just create a new, new canvas push this canvas right to where it needs to be. Once again, kind of eyeball with here. Yeah, that looks good. And now just kind of draw a net. It might look kind of weird, 
you know, from other angles, but I feel like I could kind of do multiple ones. Um, okay, excellent. Now, let's say if I want my camera to kind of move around, down here on the bottom right-hand corner down here is where I can kind of create my camera. So let's say if I want it, um, the shot to start right here, I could click on the icon and that's gonna kind of save that view. Then I'm gonna kind of move over here and I'm gonna click on it again. And then I can click, um, let's say it moves to this view. Okay, cool. And now I could simply just hit the play button. Whoop. Hit the play button and it's gonna seamlessly go from one angle to the other. Okay, um, once again, hit play button and I can see that it's moving around the court and doing that. Um, and I could even import logos and things like that. So let's say if I go to this canvas here, <clears throat> I'm gonna go back into paint mode and on this logo or on this scene, I'm going to um, click on this image icon at the bottom here, right here, this image icon. And now I'm gonna grab a logo hit add and I can kind of bring this down just kind of with my fingers and I'm gonna go ahead and place it and I'm gonna move this up the stack. There we go. Now I can kind of see it and on that I'm gonna kind of erase because it had some sides. Whoa. I gotta be careful. Um, let's see. When I'm erasing, I, I don't wanna erase so it, it looks like it's clear. Um, I think what I'll do is just go back here and paint some white. And, and maybe for that red backboard, I think what I'll do is also, um, or that red, there we go. Hey, that's cool. Uh, maybe just create a new layer right here. And now I can create that red, um, like that. Now if I come in here, Awesome, I've got full graphics on there. I hit play, <laughs> moves around. You can almost hear the crowd screaming and uh, in excitement. But, you know, hopefully that was um, some help with that. Now, I don't wanna just leave you with that. I'm just gonna click on this and this. I feel like that was just kind of a, a fast way to get started. But realize this, if you click on this on the upper right hand corner, there's something called tutorials. And if I click on tutorials, okay, I'm gonna say um, unsave changes. I'm gonna hit cancel. Let, let me see, if I go here, I can hit save. And uh, okay, great. Now this is, I'll save it on mental canvas. I'll hit save. Great, it's saved. But if I click here and if I go to tutorials, these are awesome, awesome tutorials. And they'll walk you through doing a lot of different things on here. I didn't even cover all the possibility. But I feel like um, I would start with uh, the plane and just work in order because they keep getting a little bit more advanced. And, um, but I feel like the learning curve in the beginning, it's kind of like, oh man, this is kind of tricky. But by the end, you'll be so glad you did it. I feel like this is a game changer for storyboard artists, um, for 3D artists that just want to kind of communicate a message quickly, kind of test some camera angles. So. Leave the comments below. Let me know what you think about this. And I can't wait to see what you guys have been creating. So make sure that if you found this helpful, make sure that you like and subscribe. And I will see you later.